The first thing we're going to be doing is cut a taper along the edge of your core material. Depending on how thick or thin your core material is, if you choose the thicker one, you're going to want to have a much longer taper. If you're choosing the thinner one, your taper is going to be about an inch long. If you've chosen the quarter inch core, this is what your taper is going to look like, the length of it. If you have the half inch core like I do, you're going to want to make your taper quite a bit longer so that you can bend it more easily. Now that I've got my taper complete, I'm going to take my first bit of wrapping material, my yarn, and I'm going to start wrapping the base of the coil. And I'm going to prepare to bend the tapered part forward. Notice that as I go along, I'm making sure that the yarn is stacking up neatly right next to the yarn previous to it. You don't want to have a lumpy overlapping, but you also don't want um, the white showing through, the core material showing through. When you've gotten to the point where you just have a small bit of taper left, and if you have the quarter inch core, this may be your whole taper. Um, but for the, the half inch core, it's just going to be a, a bit of the part that you cut. You're going to fold that over and start carefully wrapping your yarn over both the um, start and the tip of the taper until you have a loop, a small loop at the beginning. Now that I've gotten the center made, I'm going to go ahead and use my this large plastic needle. I'm going to put the yarn through the eye and just give it two um, little knots on the end to hold it in. And you're going to situate your core material to the left and your yarn to the right. This is important because um, you can get tangled up into a big old mess. So you want to keep one to one side and one to the other. Since I'm right-handed, I like my yarn on the right. So once you have this part going, it's time that you can start turning it, and you're going to start wrapping it through that tiny little hole, if you can see it. So we're going to start a pattern of 10 wraps and two sewing through um, the next level, and you'll kind of start to see how that looks. It's trickiest in the beginning when um, you're just getting started. Okay, so I've gone through sewn twice. I want to keep this guy and wrap him in the tail. I'm going to go ahead and wrap 10 times. And then I'm going to sew twice. Again, I'm just going through the center. You're not always going to be going through the center, but you're always going to be going towards the space um, right in front of where you are. And now I'm going to coil 10 more. And that tail is getting wrapped up in there. And this smaller core, this um, quarter inch core is a little easier to turn. It's a little more challenging on the larger core, but the benefit to the larger core, well, it's just a different look. And um, I think it'll make a larger basket for the amount of time. You can see that once you get past the small hole, you're going to be starting to wrap instead of to the middle hole to the just to the level um, right under it. At this point, you're just going to carry on with your pattern of wrapping ten times and sewing twice. If you get to the point where you want to change yarn and add a new color or if you're just running out of what you have, you want to leave a pretty long tail um, from the first from the yarn that you have been using. And you may need to uncoil a little bit if you didn't quite leave enough.
you're going to take your new string and just lay it on top of the core material and hold it down and start wrapping the old yarn over it to hide or tie in the new yarn. Once you've gotten to the point where there's just a little bit of the old thread left, you're going to go ahead and lay it on the core material and you're going to pick up the new thread that you have already kind of secured into the old coiling and you're going to start wrapping it around the 10 times just as you normally would and you're just going to keep that little tail tucked in. Notice as I come around that I'm not going back through the middle, but I'm going just through the coil right in front of the one where I'm at. And you're going to continue to do that. Mine looks a little funky because I wasn't doing the 2 and 10 pattern to begin with. But I've discovered that it looks good, and especially with the half inch core material, you really need the 2 to hold it tight enough. Once you've gotten to the point where your base is the size that you wanted, um, whether or not you're doing abrupt walls where walls just come straight up or whether you're going to have a gradual walls where your bowl um, gradually gets taller, um, then what you're going to do is you're going to start stacking the coil. So I'm going for gradual walls, so I'm starting to hold the coil or the core material slightly above the last layer. You can see right here that it's starting to get higher. It was flat and now it's getting a little bit taller. I'm getting close to the end of my bowl. I think it's going pretty well. I did change from 10 to 2 ratio of wrapping and sewing to um, like 14 to 2 on the top because the they were kind of running into each other. I don't know. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. Just keep that in mind. You may have to make some adjustments. But I wanted to put a rim a different color. So in order to do that, it looks like I have, it's about time. Um, I'm going to taper this edge off. So I think it's time to switch colors. So you guys already know how to switch colors. Um, but I just wanted to let you know for planning purposes, if you are going to do a rim a different color, or even if you're doing different rows, different colors, how to plan for that. But I'm just going to go ahead and switch my yarn off like I normally would by putting the new color and wrapping it and then transitioning that way. I've gotten most of my rim done. I'm down to the last bit and I want to taper off this edge the same way I did in the beginning. Um, with If you have the thicker core, you're going to want, again, a longer taper. Then if you have the quarter inch core, you'll just need an inch taper right here would be fine. But since this is so thick, um, I'm going to do quite a bit longer of a taper. I've gotten to the end. <laughs> um, mine's a little wonky, but that's okay. Um, I, I do wish I had, um, I guess my taper was more abrupt than... It should have been that's okay so I'm here at the end and I'm just going to um, find a place to pull my yarn into to tie it off spread that back out a little bit oh, sorry and um, then I can just trim off my yarn and voila, it's complete.